What's going on world and Wizzy from A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube. We actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And the similar connections that I want to adopt with you is with the understanding of why artists who are rich and artists who have it all seem to want to argue with each other on fucking Twitter. I will not understand it. I cannot understand it. And for whatever reason, we still have to fucking endure this dumb shit. Nicki Minaj versus Taylor Swift. Now, I absolutely don't understand why both these beautiful women are fighting. Actually, I do because Nicki Minaj is mad because she didn't get nominated for Video of the Year at the MTV Music Awards. Who the fuck cares? Why are we pressed, Nicki? I don't know. But if for whatever reason we do not know, she goes to inform the masses as to why she is upset. Nicki Minaj thinks that thin women are in this year and they're the one getting the nominations. I'm thinking to myself, okay, if she's not talking about Taylor Swift, who is she talking about? Hmm, is Iggy Azalea on the list? Is she nominated for video of the year? Hmm. Let's look at the nominations for video of the year. We have Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran. What the fuck for? I absolutely do not know. I, I, I really don't know why that video was nominated. Bruno Mars. I freaking loved this goddamn song. And then we have Kendrick Lamar. And I mean, it was a cool video, but hmm. I'm thinking to myself, out of all those videos, Ed Sheeran, then Kendrick Lamar can get the snub. That's just my personal opinion. I'm just saying. And, you know, Taylor Swift's response to Nicki was interesting. She was thinking that maybe her attack should be toward one of the men. I'm like, is she talking about Bruno? Is she talking about Kendrick? Because Kendrick is black and a rapper. Or is she talking about Ed Sheeran? It would have been very interesting to know who indeed, or who in fact, she was referring to. But Nicki Minaj swears that she was not talking about Taylor Swift. She says, Taylor Swift, I support you and I've always supported you, so I don't even know where you got your name from in my tweet. But she goes to say that, you know, Anaconda was a, cult was a cultural impacting type of video. Dances were created, memes were created. Ellen did the, the leg dance on her show, MTV had a parody dance, and she can't, for whatever reason, seem to understand why MTV snubbed her for Video Music of the Year. Now, let's be clear. Her video has almost 500 million views, okay? It went like, did, didn't it receive like 100 million views? Like, some, some odd crazy number in a day or some shit. Anaconda did because it was just so forward with pushing the envelope, okay? Now, some people thought that Anaconda was just a smut video and it was trashy to women and, you know, all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, it was a hot video. Anaconda, the music video, only allowed for me to really listen to the goddamn song because the song really wasn't that mm, for me. Okay, now we all know that I love Nicki Minaj and we all know that I can respect Taylor Swift, but the fact that these two women can't agree to disagree or at least come together for this cause of equality that Nicki Minaj seems to be bantering about on Twitter, I'm just thinking to myself, Nicki Minaj, do not become the new Azalea Banks. Please do not, okay? Please do not. Because for her to scream potential racism and you know, not acknowledging black women and, you know, white females coming out of the woodworks and capitalizing off of black cultural uh, musical endeavors, i.e. Iggy Azalea. So, you know, it's like for her to do all of that and then we have Beyonce nominated, it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. Mind you, I think Beyonce should have been nominated because she did that whole fucking video with an iPhone. And mind you, iPhones are just trash. <laughs> Sorry for all the Apple iPhone users. Shout out to all the Android users. I just don't want Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj to fight. Now, I will say this. Nicki Minaj is right. 
in, in more ways than one as far as how black entertainers need to go beyond the realm of normalcy or mediocrity to just completely get their stuff out there and to be heard and to be, you know, popping. Fancy was all over the place. And for what? I couldn't understand why Fancy was all over the place. But now nobody is really feeling Iggy Azalea. I wonder why. You know what I'm saying? My message to Nikki, Nikki, you don't have to worry about a thing, boo boo. You are doing your thing. Obviously, Taylor Swift doesn't have to worry about a thing. She is doing her thing. But my thing is, why do we as black people continuously put ourselves in a position to cry about something, especially when it's within regards to Taylor Swift. You know, how many times does Kanye have to walk up on stage to make a point? How many times does Taylor Swift needs to be the victim to us being angry black folk? Now, I do believe some things need to be corrected, but it's only going to be corrected through time and through patience and through peaceful, motivational, how can I put this, ways, you know what I'm saying? Like Beyonce gets all the respect in the world and she has never once rebelled. Could you imagine if Beyonce was like Iggy Azalea, do you think she would be where she is now? Do you think she'd be worth the amount of money that she's worth now? Do you think that if she were to react in any old sort of way in that fucking elevator, that she would still be where she is right now? Well, yeah, she probably would because she's really huge. Like, she's at a level. I don't think that elevator incident would have created anything for her, but she's smart. She's smart. And she releases all of her rebellion through her music. That's what Nicki Minaj needs to do. I think Nicki Minaj's next album needs to be like a Beyonce album. Just drop that shit and just completely be political, culturally diverse, culturally intelligent, embody, embody forward thinking. And oh my God, she, like Nicki Minaj has the potential to be like, I'm not gonna say the next, well, she has the potential to be a great, 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 great iconic female MC. Now, with all these talks about these ghost riders and Meek Mill is going after Safari with his wine video, I thought it was interesting, but you know what? I'm gonna talk about that in another video. Let me know what y'all think about this. Now, to close off, okay? Nicki Minaj has a valid point. I believe so, and I completely understand where she's coming from, okay? Taylor Swift is an innocent bystander. She's just putting out shit that she loves to put out. I don't, you know, it's just, it's like I get you Nicki Minaj, but it's like, but anyways, I honestly don't think Nicki Minaj was gunning for Taylor Swift. I think that Nicki Minaj respects Taylor Swift. I think Taylor Swift shouldn't have responded to the tweet. That's what I think. I think Taylor Swift needs to know her position and I think she needs to understand the position that she has. I know that I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this video. Y'all seem to always feel some sort of way. But anyways, leave your comments below the video and let me know what you think. Deuces. When we come back, had him hemmed up on a tree. He was like, I'm not the one you looking for. I'm the, you, got, you got the wrong one. Then all of a sudden, boom, dumb. And then, you know, we see him, we see Daryl fighting against them and shooting the, with the crossbow. And then he's just sitting there like, 